Hello viewers, today we're going to be setting up some X10 equipment to control one of the street lights outside. I'm very fond of this system, I've used it for many years. My grandfather, for pretty much as long as I can remember, at least 20 something years, has used this stuff for the Christmas lights. And at some point he gave me some pieces and I started using them for my Christmas lights. And then I bought some more over the years, and then someday it just occurred to me, like, why only the Christmas stuff? And then I started using it all the time. Uh, I used it to control just about all the lighting at the old location in the bedroom and the computer room for a long time. And uh, I took all the pieces with me, but it's just been one of those things that I just haven't got around to setting up around here yet but an immediate use case has arisen for this equipment. I installed an outside outlet today for the street light in the back. I'll try to show you, but my camera's at a charge, so we're gonna have to go real quick. So, I put this outlet in And I might move it. I might put it on the side here eventually. Uh, but it's there for now. Another one will go over there. One on the corner and then one over there by that light. For now I just have the wire running across and it plugs in. Which is much better than having the wire run from there all the way across the yard. I really was getting sick of it being like that. So that wire goes in over there by that window. And for now it just plugs in. Eventually, I'll run switches up into the living room. But for now, this is what we got. Okay, I need to plug this back in because it's about to run out. Okay. So, there's the wire. It comes in through there. I got to put uh, two more wires through. I'm going to add another circuit for the deck street lights, which haven't been put in yet. And then another circuit for the, um, the the string lights on the deck. So three wires eventually will go through there, and then I'll put some steel wool to cover it up. But for now, whoops. Okay. For now, uh, we have this. Just temporarily stuck a plug on here. Wow, I'm really losing it here. Um, that was a, a broken bulb anyway, so that's not a big deal. Um, good grief. So this um, this is the cord. I just stuck a plug on here for now. Eventually I'll probably run switches up into the living room, but that's, that's a time-consuming process. So just to get it operating for now, I've got this. The problem is, now that I've taken it off the, switch, uh, the switched circuit that I had up, up on the deck, I have no way to control this from upstairs, which I want to turn it off right before I go to sleep. Or I want to turn it on and I don't like to look at something or whatever, I don't want to have to come down here. So I need a way to control this. So I think the X10 system is a good answer. Now, there's some problems here with these remotes. I recall last year... Um, one of them stopped working and it was like in the middle of Christmas time so I ended up just buying a new one these batteries are probably out of charge um, so I've got that remote which this one is kind of yellowed so this definitely has been around for some time this looks like the new one and then I also have this remote which appears to have a good battery in there so I think we'll just use this one um, so we need to program this to be house number one, which I think maybe you, there's a couple different models of these and they program differently. It looked like that was correct. Um, maybe off is the number. I want it to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the reason being is because 
the transceiver module, which is defaulted to number one, is not grounded, so I'm not going to use it for the wiring that goes outside. What I'm going to use for the wiring that goes outside is one of these three pin grounded appliance modules. So, uh, we're going to change this. We're going to set this to A9, which will be number one on my remote control. And I need a transceiver module, which it doesn't look like I have a transceiver module in here. Oh, I have several remotes in here, though. Well, I had to go look around for a transceiver module. I found the this transceiver module. It's really nice to be able to kind of find things now. So let's plug this in here and let's see. Let's make sure that this stuff is working. It's working. So, what I will do is I'm going to put the, uh, the module into this outlet. And then I will put the... Uh, I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to plug the light in which I think will cause it to turn on. So I'm going to unplug it first, I guess, and then I'll plug the light in, and then I will plug everything back in. So this should be now off. Okay. So there's our, our uh, module set up. And the wires just kind of hang here, which I don't like, but I'm not sure really what else to do about that for now. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to screw in a little hook. Here. I don't want to have all that, all that pressure on that module. That's not, that's not setting up for success. So I'll just put a little screw, screw in hook here. What is going on with the stinking camera right now? The it's like not adjusting very nicely. Whatever, I'll fix it later. Oh, I'll just put a little hook in right here. There's several pre-existing holes, so this will go with no trouble. Okay, and I'll just hook that on there like that, so now the module isn't under a lot of force. And now what we'll do is we'll go upstairs. But I don't normally keep this this whole thing plugged in. So uh, let's go upstairs. And I'm going to plug this module in somewhere. Let's see if it works. I have an outlet here in the kitchen that I never really use. It's behind the microwave, which I also never really use. So typically nothing is ever plugged into this outlet. So I'm going to go ahead and, and plug the module into this outlet. And I could plug the microwave in still because I think the plug is, is uh, yeah, it's not a 90 degree, so I could still, still plug it in. Alright, so the module is plugged in. Now the only drawback that I really think of about the system is that because it uses the the wiring in the house to transmit the data sometimes you run into a situation well actually it's almost like a 50 50 where the uh you plug something in on a different phase right because the modules have to be on the same phase you got two phases typically around here and uh the transceiver module is only good for one phase they sell equipment X10 makes a piece of equipment that allegedly will transfer the signal from one phase to another 
it's very expensive and there's mixed reports about it actually working and I don't even understand why it's necessary because the simple solution is to just buy two transceiver modules and put one on each phase and it would be completely seamless but anyways uh, let's see if right here it will work it did the street light just came on and I'll go ahead and shut it off alright so this is working so this is my first X10 setup I know I've gotten a bunch of video requests to to show this X10 equipment it is interesting stuff um, so this is my first use case here at the new location for the X10 equipment um, I will definitely be expanding on this as I install more streetlights outside.